Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. So today I want to share with you a practice routine that's really helped me see improvements in my own playing over the past month. And best of all, it only took me 30 minutes a day, Monday to Friday. So as someone who has a full-time job outside of running this YouTube channel, and this YouTube channel alone, you know, I'm doing all of the ideation, the planning, the writing, the filming, the editing, the production, putting these videos out there for you and helping many guitarists every week. And on top of that, I'm also a father of three children so you can imagine I don't have a lot of free time and I always gave myself I always, sorry I always gave myself that excuse that I could let myself off the hook simply saying I don't have enough time to practice however I really wanted to get rid of this voice and start practicing more consistently at the time I was just practicing basically whenever I felt like it and I couldn't really tell if I was actually improving on my instrument or not which is another good thing so recently I'd been on a bit of a productivity slash focus kind of phase let's say and as part of that phase I checked out this book called Feel Good Productivity by the YouTuber uh, Ali Abdul. This video is no way sponsored by him. I just found that it was a really useful book for feeling good about productivity, as the title says. And in that book, there was a section about time blocking in a schedule. And basically, you'd write down your schedule for a week, and then you'd find the spaces that for things that you actually wanted to do, and actually, you know, pencil them in to make sure that you would be actively doing them each week, let's say. And the research that he cited seemed to be pretty credible and I'd been hearing this message largely by other productivity people anyway that they would have some kind of time blocking in their schedule. So at that point instead of reading more of the book I closed the book I put it down and one of my things that I always do is I just consume a lot of content but never put it into action so I thought I'm actually going to put this into action and I'm going to write out my weekly schedule the things that I have to do and where are the spaces in between for the things that I wanted to do. So for my guitar practice I scheduled 30 minutes every day Monday to Friday before I started work so in my office I would grab my guitar and I'd make sure that 30 minutes before I started work I would be practicing guitar and I told myself not to give myself too much pressure just follow one practice material and see how this goes and I've been following that for the past five weeks so for that entire time I've been focusing on a Tim Miller arpeggio course from True Fire and this is also not sponsored by Truefire. I just find it so wonderful material personally for me, uh, just giving me something that I can practice. And I've tried many different courses on there and simply if I don't like something, then I'll just move on to the next material, let's say. And even though I've been at this 30 minutes a day, Monday to Friday, five days a week, I've still not finished this course, but frankly, I really don't care because I feel like my playing has improved so much and I feel so much more confident in my ability by just sticking to this one thing and practicing that daily. And because of this, I feel so much more motivated to learn guitar. There's even days I catch myself when I'm driving to work. I'm looking forward to that 30 minutes of practice before I start work. So when I got to work, Typically what I do for those 30 minutes is I spend 10 minutes just warming up using material that I'd already learnt from that course. Then I spend 10 minutes learning something new, so this could be a new arpeggio shape or it could have just been like a lick using the arpeggio. And for the last 10 minutes I just experiment and improvise and write ideas just using that um, lick idea. Usually just got a metronome going and I'm just going through these arpeggios. I'm just trying to create some ideas and get my brain working. And to be honest, by the end of those 30 minutes I'd really be in the zone and then my timer would go off on my phone and then I'd have to head off and teach my first lecture and I always wanted to catch myself practice in most days wanted to practice more so I think I'm going to adjust my schedule going forward and see if I can find um, you know a bit maybe 45 minutes let's say <laughs> if I'm being generous to myself but that's it as simple as that just time blocking in your schedule so I ask you is there a time in your schedule that you could perhaps block off and it could be as simple as a minimum of 30 minutes and it could be up to as much as you want to spend practicing and stick with it for four weeks and see how you get on and like me I ask that you don't stress about the material that you're using pick something try it if you're not jiving with it if it's not working then try something else it's all about finding a material that you resonate with and something that's going to assist you in becoming the guitarist that you want to be that being said though for those of you who are new to math rock I've put together a free practice material for you and that goes over the fundamental techniques that are used in math rock and you can grab a free copy of that down below and you can use that to get you started in your newfound scheduled time blocks practice routine hopefully 
click the link in the description to get access to that. Well, my hope is now that you're all fired up to ready to go to go out and try a new practice routine. And along with that free material, I recommend watching this video here where I go over the basics of math rock in 10 minutes. Thanks for the patrons that support this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.